So what is Sour Optimist International? Sour Optimist International is an international community of working women. We stand up for girls and women around the world. We aim to educate, enable and empower women, fight against violence and for human rights, peace and equality. We are a non-governmental organization and therefore have neither a religious nor political orientation. We have 20 representatives in the UN who work for SI Advocacy. Generally, Sour Optimists act in their local chapters and support mostly local projects. But we are combined in a great community, share the same values and follow as one united international organization the UN agenda and the sustainability goals. Sour Optimist is a name from the Latin words Sororis and Optima, which means something like the best for women. Sour Optimist International was founded in 1921 in California and currently has more than 75,000 members in 132 countries and five federations. We try to gain the most possible impact, raise our voice to every human being in the world and try to spread our Sour Optimist vibe. Gender equality is not only a fundamental human right, but a necessary foundation for a peaceful, prosperous and sustainable world. Hi everybody, so this is our first episode of our Sour Optimist podcast. We are doing and trying to do the best for women and girls around the world. So we just try to tell you today what Sour Optimist International is, what our values are and what we actually fight for. Maybe you want to join us. So in our first episode, Moni and me, we are doing the podcast together, are representing SI, Sour Optimist International and talk a bit about our values. So hi, Moni. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. So Moni, um, the people already have heard what actually Sour Optimist is, but maybe in your own words, what is Sour Optimism for you? So Sour Optimism for me is something very special because I think Sour Optimist International is the best kept secret in our world. Uh, we have incredible women all over the world who are fighting for women uh, rights and human rights, uh, who are fighting against violence against women and inequality. And I think that's the best community to join if you want to do something for women and girls worldwide. So wait a moment, you just said best kept secret. What actually do you mean with this? So I think many people don't know Sour Optimist International because we are not uh, represented that much in social media or on the online online world. Um, just a few people know it. And uh, I think that's really, really sad. And we have to change that with our campaigns and with our community and with our communication because I think um, so many women are fighting for so many other women and girls and that should be heard and should be seen in our um, online world also because um, 2018 where I joined uh, So Optimist International I never heard of it too so I think we should change that definitely. So how did you get to Sour Optimist? Who told you of it? Did you actually search for it or was it someone else? No actually it was someone else it was my gynecologist <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> The typical thing you talk about when you're going to your giantology. <laughs> giantology. <laughs> I don't even know the word. It's like, I don't want to talk about where I'm going right now, but it's um, something like a medicine. <laughs> yes, well, it was really funny because I was talking to my doctor, which is now the president of our Munich uh, Schwaben Club. Um, and she was um, just chatting with me about my ambitions for women rights because I told her that I'm in a community at Deloitte currently. And I told her, yes, but nothing's going on there. And I want to change something and this and that. And she was like, oh, I'm currently in a community or in a club called Sor Optimist. And do you want to be my guest or be our guest for one day? And I was like, yeah, sure, I want to come. And then I was just, I just fell in love because I just found out um, through the through a lot of research, what really so Optimist is, is, which projects we have, even in Germany. And that's why I decided to join the community or the club. 
That's so great. And we're happy to have you with Thank us. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are a lot of projects and things uh, Sour Optimist is working for. So for our listeners, um, we are mostly working on the UN Sustainability Goals. Um, if you haven't heard of that, please Google it. It's so important. And I think this is what all the world currently is working on. It's um, facing water inequalities, peace all around the world, gender equalities, education for everyone, something like uh, like the human rights, just um, in a modern way of talking. So um, as our optimists, we fight for the sustainability goals. But when you think of all the values we are fighting for, like is it education, um, girls in STEM, gender pay gap or um, poverty all around the world what is the first problem you as our optimists want to face right now the first problem would uh, of course or especially for my side would be to change the circumstances of women and girls in the third world uh, especially in human tra trafficking because i think it's a uh, very big problem which is um, currently not going down or increasing and I think um, that would be the first goal for me to try to solve and help and empower other women because um, it's it could not be like this uh, when we are living in a privileged western world where others are just fighting for their right to live which is really really sad in my opinion. That's true, and I really hope that we're we're getting something done. So maybe something like the second best kept secret in the world is that um, during November's time, there's the time of the Orange Days, Orange the World. I think we're going to do a podcast episode about this also and uh, try to get some interesting people to talk about. For example, human trafficking. Uh, traffic, trafficking. <laughs> Um, but uh, what are the orange days? Um, it's uh, stand up for women and it's the fight against violence against girls and women and human trafficking. So um, maybe you can tell the listeners um, what we are doing during the orange days and what you have already seen and which projects are up upcoming. So our impact for the orange days is of course that we want to first do some social media awareness that people get to know more about this orange days because i have the feeling that nobody's talking about it um, and i think that's really important to change that the second thing is that we are doing an event in Munich uh, with Margarete Bause, which is a politician and she is talking about human rights and um, uh, violence against women. And other thing is we are currently cooperating with other Munich clubs to do some awareness to go in the Munich uh, city, in, in the inner city and go there with orange trench coats or orange uh, accessories just to bring more awareness physically and and to say hey something is going on and you have to just go with us and fight for it and uh, other things i think it's just um some um, individuals in our club also do some uh, orange lights at their offices and um just to show and just to point out that this orange day slash week is coming so i really hope we get something done um, this is such a big and incredible important topic and also to not not enough people talk about that and next problem especially women who suffer from this do not talk about this so there has to be done a lot during the next days and we hope that we get some impact done with the orange days um, so for the next two years um, Moni and me are going to be on the board together with some other incredible women um, of uh, Sour Optimist in our uh, local club which is called München Schwabing um, so what are our next projects? What is, our aim? what is your aim for the next two years, actually? 
my aim especially my personal goal is to encourage women and girls especially girls because um, they are um, sometimes too shy for it it's just to find their own voice it's just to find their own vi voice to stand up for their rights if they feel something of a injustice in their lives or in their environment I just want them to stand up I just want to be them um, authentic, natural, strong and say, hey, here I am, this is what I want to do and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well said, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> uh, so, so you just gave the point. Actually, you're, you're doing um, um, uh, computer sciences, you're working at Deloitte, so you're actually one of the women in STEM. This is a big issue currently, and I think there is a, a big gap between a big gap between the girls and women who actually try and start doing natural sciences, mathematics, everything, physics, chemical stuff, um, uh, computer sciences, um, artificial intelligence. But there are also so many girls in the world who actually are not interested and even think they don't have and should not be interested in techniques because it's just not their stuff. Uh, what are you doing about this actually as you being a girl, a uh, woman in STEM? So the thing is just to break the rules. Just don't follow rules. That's the most important thing you have to do. You have to just do your thing. If you say, hey, I just want to be a um, motor, I, I just want to have a motorcycle because I just love it. Just take it, buy it, do it. And that's the most important thing and the best thing you can do to yourself. Just not live in traditional patterns. Just break it because we are equal to men and we are even better than men. So um, nobody is going to tell me what I have to do or not have to do. And every girl should use or women should use their voice to aim their goals and um, be who they want to really be. I really love when you talk. <laughs> I directly feel encouraged, feel empowered. You have a strong voice. So... Please, I really hope so many girls uh, follow you, are empowered by, by you, your, your work, your vibe, your soul. It's, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what Sour Optimism is also. When, when women come together and actually see how, how powerful it is, how, how much we can do together, how, how good the solidarity is, um it's it's just so great so really thank you very very much for your strong voice for your much effort work power everything thank <laughs> i <you> love too. <laughs> <laughs> so i really hope that uh, we can inform you people um with our uh, sour optimist podcast i think we're going to publish um, something every two weeks something like this and talk about um, mostly very ongoing topics um, like the orange days this uh, might be our next one but women in stem also human trafficking um, some projects of our club members that uh, you get actually into sour optimists life and which projects we support and we do We really hope that we get some impact with our Sour Optimist podcast. The most important, I think, Moni and me want to tell you is just do something. When you see inequality, do something. When there is someone who needs help, do something. And actually do, not only talk, do. This is what we have to do. And this is how we will change something. And we have to change something for a human 21st century. So... Have a great day. I hope to be with you soon. And bye. <laughs> <laughs>